What is up? What is going on, everybody? We are a total of six weeks out, and we're back. We're back to uh, this familiar spot in my place in Alice Springs. We're back from holiday. I got back yesterday. Today is Saturday, the what is it? Saturday, the 29th of July, and it's been another week since I last saw you guys. Um, a week ago, I was sitting in Phuket in Thailand, having a fantastic holiday, and I told you guys that even though I was surrounded by all of these awesome foods, um, I had kept my diet on track. And before I tell you guys how the last week's gone, first thing I'm going to do is weigh in. So I've got my scales over there. Let's do it right now. Me, I'm all the way up. I'm all the way up. Alright, guys, so this week I weighed in at 193.2 pounds, which equals 87.6 kilograms. Last week in Thailand, I weighed in at 193.7 pounds, which was 87.9 kilograms. So in total, I've lost half a pound, which is absolutely fuck all. But at the end of the day, I am I am extremely happy with that because you know there came a point basically straight after I made my last video. Um, I said to myself, you know, I am on holiday. I'm going to be back home in a week, and you know, how am I going to feel if I literally have not indulged at all this entire holiday? Yes, I'll feel great. But at the end of the day, I went away on holiday, I had one goal, one major goal, as far as my weight and, and body fat was concerned. I wanted to come back in at least as good, if not better shape, than I went away in. And at the end of the day, I did. I probably lost a total of, you know, at least a kg of fat in the two weeks I was away. And if you're on holiday and you, you're losing fat and you're, you're sticking to a diet, I mean, that's fantastic. And I was, I was completely happy with that. So coming back today, I didn't actually know what I was going to weigh. I, I, I half thought I was going to weigh more than I did last week. Turns out I've actually, you know, had a, a lower weigh-in, which is fantastic. It's a new low. You can't complain with that. But let me just run through the last week what happened. So like I said in my, in my previous video, it's extremely hard to get clean protein sources when you're going out for dinner all the time. So, you know, I, I continue to struggle with that. I think I tracked, my, I tracked my diet on the first two days and I was sitting around about 2,500 calories. You know, fat was around about 100 grams, protein was 190 to 200, and carbs was, was making up the rest. So that's not ideal. I wanted to bring fats down, I wanted to up protein, you know, et cetera, et cetera. All of those plans got absolutely turned on the head because myself and my sister got food poisoning. Uh, what's the day today? It's Saturday today, probably since about Monday, um, I have felt like absolute fucking shit. I ain't gonna lie. So to train was extremely hard. Um, to stomach food was extremely hard. Uh, and I know, and, and I guess it's my own fault. Um, I was looking for protein sources, you know, everywhere around Thailand they've got these little stalls on the side of the road selling fruit, selling, you know, chicken skewers, things like that. Um, I saw fruit and chicken as being fantastic sources of carbs and protein, something I was able to track easily. So I was actually eating those, you know, throughout the whole entire first week. And I don't know what it was. I do believe it was probably some sort of chicken that I bought that made me sick. But at the end of the day, from Tuesday to Friday, I was sick. I was, you know, I'm not going to go into it. Everyone knows what food poisoning is like. And, you know, it, it came Wednesday and Thursday, and me and my sister were saying, I bet you, I guarantee, as soon as we leave Thailand, we're going to start feeling good. And that's exactly what happened, man. Basically, honestly, like the morning of Friday when we left, we started feeling good again. It was, um, it was absolutely bullshit. And, but at the end of the day, I was... <laughs> six and a half weeks out uh, with food poisoning and you know it's not ideal clearly so the food that I did try and eat it wasn't the best 
food poisoning, yes, you don't want to eat, but the things that you do want to eat aren't going to be, you know, clean protein, clean carb sources. So, you know, I had my chocolate, I had room service because we literally could not be fucked going down. Um, I was dehydrated as hell, you know, I was eating, I was eating pretty shit, to be fair. And um, cardio went right down. You know, I definitely wasn't doing my 15 to 18,000 steps a day. Um, and that's what happens when you get sick. So unfortunately, that was the last four days of my holiday. Uh, but we are back now and I am feeling, you know, pretty good. Um, I don't know if I'm feeling 100%, but uh, with that weigh-in and, you know, not having put on uh, too much, you know, excess body fat or water weight or whatever, I'm happy. So, you know, here we sit at six weeks out, back from holiday, food poisoning's over, thank God. It was, <laughs> it was, it was fucking horrible. Um, I've trained legs once in the last two weeks. So that is something I really, really need to smash. You know, they're feeling fucking small. Um, it doesn't take long for you to atrophy when you're in a caloric deficit and when you're natural. So I've really got to start training my pins again, even though I'm not even going to show them on stage, which really fucks me off, you know. Um, I'm sort of going away from the whole physique, uh, board short sort of thing, but this, this show will be in physique. We'll be using board shorts and... I'm still really looking forward to it. So with that being said, thank you all for your support. As always, it means the world. On the days when I can't be fucked doing it, it keeps me going. Certainly kept me going whilst I had food poisoning. But uh, from here on, you know, it's, it's, it's go time. Can't wait. I'll be back with you in another week uh, with the weigh-in. Might do a physique update. I'm not sure, depending on how, how lean I'm, I'm feeling. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned. Until then, have a great day, train hard, kick some goals, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.